Hi, my name is Chris Sutton and I work for Solar Energy International as part of our PV technical team. And today we're here in Paonia, Colorado at our Solar Energy International PV lab training facility. And I want to take a minute and explain to you all what we do here. Basically what we try to offer is a hands-on experience that balances what people have learned in either the classroom or in our online training programs um, where they can take that base knowledge, those fundamentals, come out here to our lab facility and really start to put the, what they've learned to the test um, and try to connect the uh, design side and the theory side with the hardware and the hands-on and the real world end of um, dealing with PV power systems. Um, when we do classes out here, one of the things we pride ourselves on is a, um, a very good student to instructor ratio. Um, with that, what we usually have is somewhere in the ballpark of six or seven students per one instructor. So if we have a, you know, a class of 20, then we're probably going to have three to four instructors working with that group depending on the given workshop. If we have a class of 30, it's probably going to be five instructors working with that group. So we try to focus on breaking students down into small groups so they get a chance to get their hands dirty, work on systems, and really get in there as opposed to, you know, a big group just huddled around the whole time. Um, so in student to instructor ratios are really good on, uh, on most of our workshops out here. Um, the two primary PV lab classes that we offer out here is our grid direct lab class, which is our PV201L, as we call it, and our battery-based lab class, which is our 301L. Um, the difference between the two is one is focused strictly on um, grid direct, straight grid tied systems, non-battery based. The other one, the 301, is obviously our battery-based lab class, where we deal with battery systems. Um, one of the fun things about doing classes out here in Paonia um, is that we have the ability to have a wide variety of system types on site that we get to play with, look at, operate, test, commission, you know, build up, break down over and over again. Um, and so what we have out here is we have one flat roof or low slope roof for the roofing folks. Um, we have two steep sloped or pitched roofs. We have one ground mount system and we have one pole mount system. All of those are currently connected to um, a grid interactive inverter set up as a standard grid tied system. Um, when we do our battery based systems out here, we have also a whole you know um, range of battery based equipment as well. One of the things that's really fun about being a nonprofit independent training organization is we're not affiliated with any manufacturers and so we can showcase basically any products that are on the market. Um, we do get a lot of donations and we're very grateful to uh, people who donate hardware to our training center and then we are able to purchase whatever else we want to um, and try to use a little bit of everyone's product. So when we do our our lab classes um, we end up with a whole variety of inverters. So for grid tied inverters, we, we have pretty much one inverter of just about everyone on the market out here. We have a variety of racking hardware, a variety of modules, and we're trying to showcase different products, different mounting methods, different techniques um, to have a really well-rounded training experience. Now, when we do classes out here, generally they're a one-week lab class. And uh, that one week, it's a five-day Monday through Friday class. And what I'll do is maybe run you through a normal schedule here. So if you came out for a one-week 201L type of lab class, what we're going to do is we're going to start in the classroom the first morning. We're going to spend about half a day going through just some general um base guidelines, uh, safety and commissioning very specifically. So we can explain to you what our protocols are from a safety standpoint out here on our lab facility. Spend about a half a day doing that Monday morning. Monday afternoon, we'll come out to the lab class here and we'll get started working on our systems. We break down into small groups. We start um, diving into um, building up our systems. Usually we do it so we have about a day and a half um, roughly per system. So we'd have Monday afternoon and all day Tuesday to get our first systems finished, um, basically built, tested, commissioned online, 
made sure everything's working right, then we'll shut the system down, we will decommission it, take it apart, and switch groups. Um, and so that gives you the ability to come out and get your hands on not only just one system, but two and sometimes three systems depending on how the course of the week flows. Um, so with the five grid tied systems that we have out here, in the course of a normal week, you're going to get your hands on two to three of those systems that you're going to work kind of end to end through. Um, you'll also get the ability to see everything else that's out here because we have equipment all over the place. We have tons of demonstration hardware. Um, but that's kind of the, the once over for a one week lab class. You know, Monday, Tuesday on one system. Wednesday and half a Thursday on the second system, and then generally, you know, the other half a Thursday and all day Friday on your third rotation, depending on how the week is. There's There are cases where we get into doing some other labs where we only do two full rotations. That'll kind of depend on, on the week. Um, we have a lot of good stuff out here, so sometimes we want to play with some of our other tools and equipment that we want to get out, and we'll spend the time doing two rotations instead of three. Um, if we do our battery class, it's going to start off similar, start in the classroom, go through safety and policies and procedures and commissioning, then come out here and we do things a little different in battery class. We start out with the battery class dealing with um, simple systems, um, charge controller to battery systems, single, you know, one or two modules, small charge controller, small battery bank. Um, we do battery wiring labs, battery cable making. We look at um, how to test batteries, you know, um, make sure everything's working properly inside a flooded type of battery. Um, and we spend the first generally two days on that. Then we graduate our way up to bigger systems with full-scale inverters, full-scale battery systems, where we wire more of a full kind of residential style um, battery-based system. So that gives a, a good well-roundedness in the battery side, charge controllers, inverters, and that whole end of things. The battery class doesn't focus as much on modules and mounting as the grid type class does, primarily because we're assuming that you kind of have a little bit of that, and we're really focused on the battery system specific parts, specifically battery to inverter, inverter charge controllers, um, combiner boxes, all that sort of a thing. Um, so those are kind of our two classes, grid tied lab class, battery lab class that we offer out here. They're very complementary to each other. Um, if you wanted to do uh, battery systems, then taking both classes is very, very valuable because we they don't overlap very much. They're independently um, great. Some of the things we focus on here across the board, no matter which class, is things like electrical safety, um, how to use electrically insulated gloves, how to test with meters, um, using best practices as far as safety protocols and procedures, uh, lockout tagout. We also deal a lot with fault protection out here, where we look at different harness setups, anchorages, um, you know, uh, ropes, rope grabs, self-retracting lifelines, all those sorts of things. Um, and then we have a lot of meters and tools out here that we get to use as well. If you come take a lab class, you don't have to bring any of your own stuff. You don't have to bring your own meters and tools. We have everything set up for you that you're going to need. Um, but we have, we have a great sampling of, you know, um, Solar Pathfinders, uh, the new Solmetric SunEye, the new IV Curve Tracer from Solmetric, and a whole bunch of other really fun tools that um, if we have time to, we get to pull out, play with, and uh, do all sorts of things. Um, as far as uh, registering for any of these classes, you can always uh, go to our website at www.solarenergy.org to look at when these classes are being held and, um, and how to register prerequisites for these classes. For our grid tied lab class, our 201L class, we require that someone takes at least our PV 101 level, entry level fundamentals class. Um, if you don't take our class, but you've taken someone else's 101 class and you want to get in, that's fine too. We just want something that's comparable to, you know, approximately a 40 hour, um, one week fundamentals of PV class. Because we assume when you show up here to our lab facility that you've already uh, taken the core fundamentals that you need. We're not going to start back at the beginning and start revisiting. We'll do definitely some refreshers as we go along, but we're going to assume that you've taken at least a 101 level 
40 hour PV class before you come out here. If you want to take our battery based class, our 301L class, we want you to have taken a 101 and ideally ours or someone else's battery based design class. So we have what we call our 203 class, which is a battery based system design fundamentals class, which kind of goes on top of our 101. So you would take the 101 and the 203 battery fundamental design. Thank you, and I hope to see you out in Paonia this summer.